When we look back at the year 2021, we can definitely see why God tells us to pray without ceasing. No matter what the year ahead holds, we will still need to pray without ceasing. That's why we will be continuing to pray during the 945 Sunday Refresh Hour. In Ezekiel 22:30, it tells us that God sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before him on behalf of the land that he should not destroy it, but he found no one. To me, that is one of the saddest verses in the scripture. I love prayer and I'm thankful that we have an opportunity to gather together and seek the Lord. Paul tells us in Ephesians 6 to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or craftiness of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. In John 10, Jesus tells us that the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. Are you living the abundant life that Jesus promised you? Or have you succumbed to the schemes of the enemy? If you are not living in peace, chances are you are agreeing with the enemy in some areas of your life, some to the point of a stronghold. In this 12-week Refresh Hour class, we will learn how to recognize the areas of our lives where we have come into agreement with the enemy. Some of these are generational, passed down from our parents, grandparents, or even our great-grandparents. Once we recognize these strongholds, repent, and ask for forgiveness, we can take authority over the enemy to become free and live in peace. Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. This is only possible if we take authority over the enemy and trust God completely. Let's become the spotless bride that Jesus is coming for when he returns. Come join me on January 9th for a new video series class entitled Spiritual Warfare is Real, How the Power of Jesus Defeats the Attacks of Our Enemy by Jim Cimbala, who's pastor of Brooklyn Tabernacle in New York City. We need to get our streets smart with our adversary, the devil. Jesus means for us to be living in victory, and he's provided weapons and strategies we will learn to use. This is a discussion format class, so come ready to share and ready to learn. And child care will be provided for the refresh hour during this cycle for toddlers through fourth grade. Hope to see you there. To be a Christian, is to be attacked by the enemy of everything good, anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-love. Satan is not a pushover. He's not a joke. He's not something we should talk about lightly like, oh, the devil made me do it. He is very real. He's looking for weakness. The next thing you know, you've been drifting away from even truth that you once held to and a faith that was once precious, and you don't know, how did I get here? If you just go by what you see here and now, you can be overwhelmed. I had to learn the secret of how to walk by faith. When you become a Christian, you are now entering into the arena of spiritual warfare. So every day we have to be aware of what is Satan up to in our lives. Satan will be defeated as we do what God calls us to do, and Satan will not interrupt us because we're more than conquerors through Jesus Christ.